Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I have another faith planner process video up a little late today but we're getting there. Um, I'm going to wrap up this month by using all my leftover bits from the uh, This Is Love devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and I pulled out some paints and this really cute um, pom-pom trim I just picked up. I'm going to kind of incorporate that and I have some pieces left over from the You Are Loved collection. So here's a look at last week's spread spread. <laughs> you can check out that process video. Um, I will link it down below. Uh, I like to pull my pages out. I just take a pair of scissors and make little snips into the holes so I can pull it out. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how I put that back into my planner. But um, it just makes it easier to work on when it's not in my bulky planner. And to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and just do some acrylic paint scraping. Uh, I will try to list the colors down below. I have tons of those Martha Stewart paints and I don't know that they're carrying them really anymore. I think they're kind of discontinuing them because I'm having a hard time finding some of these colors. So I just use what's in your stash. I try to pull things that match the colors of this kit. And this is something that I had liked doing was using up the last little bits of my devotional kits in my planner. In the last few months, I hadn't done that. And so uh, I wanted to be sure to do that for this one because I really liked the elements from that devotional kit. If you missed those videos, um, there's a whole playlist on my channel, uh, Illustrated Faith This Is Love kit, and you can see all my process videos using the kit. But I'm just kind of randomly swiping this paint onto the page using this card technique. It doesn't take very much paint at all. Um, these planner pages are not very thick, so I didn't really want to go in with watercolor and things like that. So I'm trying to stick to to some drier mediums like acrylic paint um, and that way it dries fast too. This entire spread took about 20 minutes today and um, that was even with like filming takes a little longer so it probably wouldn't have taken that long. I pulled out the stamp set from the devotional kit and some paints from Target. I get a lot of questions about these. All my paints in the pots are from Target. I will try to remember to list the colors down below and over on my blog. I just pulled a few that match the kit. And uh, Hello Jilski had a video where she showed how she stamped with acrylic paint. I did mine with Neocolor 2 crayons. But that technique really uses a lot more moisture, and so I decided to go ahead and use the acrylic paint in my planner. That way it didn't warp the pages too much. So I'm just taking a paintbrush and applying a very thin layer of paint. And it doesn't give you a perfect impression, but that's okay. I'm just wanting that kind of mixed media feel, and I'm trying to pull in all the colors from the kit because I'm going to be using a mixture of products that are left over. So when I'm working my Bible, I really tried to stick to either mostly the greens or mostly the pinks and not everything but we're just not holding back for the planner we're just going everything and just going to use it up so um you can just use a baby wipe to wipe off that paint and then I'm going to go in with the smaller little hexy shape. Uh, I just filmed the unboxing video of the new devotional kit and you guys are going to love it. And if you are a lover of these shapes, these hexy shapes, you're going to love the stamp set um, this month. So stay tuned later on this week. It'll be out. I'm going to start covering up this top part of the planner page. So I used some double-sided adhesive and applied that towards the bottom strip of that pink. And then now I'm going in with the washi tape from the, the kit. And this way, that double-sided adhesive is only exposed where the washi tape doesn't cover up, if that makes sense. So if I had put the washi down first and then the double-sided adhesive, it would cover part of the washi tape. And this pom-pom trim isn't very wide, and so I didn't want to deal with exposed um, adhesive. But now I have just enough adhesive on there that I can press that pom-pom trim down into it. I've been seeing this used in people's Bible pages and I've fallen in love and so be ready it's going to be in my Bible. <laughs> so this is the first that you're seeing of it but not the last. On the back side I just take the EK Success powder tool, dust the stickiness that is exposed and then repunch that hole and then snip a little slit into it. That way I can insert it back into my planner. And now I'm going in with those leftover elements from the devotional kit. So the stickers, the uh, die cuts. I still have tons of die cuts left. This this kit really had a lot of products in it. And with the um, little extra You Are Loved kit, you just end up with a lot of products, which is great. I'll have them to use in other projects. But uh, I don't do my scripture writing on Sunday, so I usually try to kind of cover Sunday with a lot of elements 
and now it's just a matter of going in and kind of sprinkling everything around. This planner is getting super thick and chunky. Um, I haven't heard yet whether Dayspring is coming out with new planners this summer. I imagine they are since they have in the past. So I will move out of this planner before the end of the year, which is good because it's getting really thick. I don't know that I could go all the way through December with already having like six months in it. It's getting pretty thick. I can go through and add some of these cardstock stickers. And I'm just trying to kind of figure out, it's looking like a hot mess, but in the end it kind of looks balanced. So let's see how it comes together. But I was just trying not to overthink it. Just stick things down, leaving myself plenty of room so I can go through and do those daily scripture writings. And by pulling it out of the planner um, makes it easier to fight or like to deal with all that bulkiness because my planner is getting super chunky. And so if I left these pages in, it would be kind of hard to be putting those that paint scraping and all that in there it would have been kind of a pain. So I'm going to go in with a micron pen just to outline the hearts, those heart stickers. They are clear stickers, so they kind of lose their shape when they're just hanging out on your planner like that. So I just went ahead and outlined those, and that's pulling in some more black. And you will see I kind of have groupings of three. So the hearts are kind of in a triangle shape. Um, there are three sets of the words. There are uh, three areas of florals. And that just kind of helps balance everything out. And then I'm pulling in some of those dots that this is Love Sticker had dots on it. And I didn't have dots anywhere else. So I decided to go ahead and pull that into the other side of the page. And that's pretty much it for the spread this week. Pretty simple. To insert it back in, you can just push those pieces down into the, the planner. I'm taking a pair of scissors so I don't mess up my manicure. <laughs> but you just pop it right in there, push it in. And I haven't had any pages fall out. They are just fine. So that is it for the spread this week. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Head on over and check out the blog for more photos and links to the products used. And subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.